up capture is an interesting portfolio performance ratio that we can use to measure how well a portfolio manager did while the general market was up. And down capture is useful in the same way other than it tells us how a manager did when the market was down. Now let's go right into Excel and calculate both of these metrics for an example mutual fund. In this spreadsheet, I have got the adjusted close prices for the market benchmark we're gonna use, which is SPY, the largest S&P 500 ETF. And I also have the adjusted close prices for one of the largest large cap mutual funds that's actively managed known as AGTHX. The reason I chose this one is because it's actively managed. So the people that manage this mutual fund have the stated goal of basically outperforming the general large cap index like the S&P 500. And another note of why we're using adjusted close prices is because they include dividends and stock splits so we can get a proper return history for both of these funds. Now, I've grabbed the last five years of data and you can do so using Yahoo Finance. Now that we have the adjusted close prices for both of these funds, we're going to go ahead and calculate the simple daily returns, and that'll be quite easy. We're just going to take the change in price for each day. So we can do equals, take uh, the next day's price, subtract it by the previous day's price. That gives us the change in price for the day. And then we divide it by the previous day's price to get it into a percentage. And there we go. So SPY increased by 0.2% for that day. I'll hit Control C to copy, Control V to paste for AGTHX. And then I'll highlight both with shift and right arrow, and then I'll hit control C. I'll arrow over to here and then hit control down arrow. Arrow to the right, hold shift and hit the right arrow, and then hit control shift up arrow to paste all formulas with control V. And now we have got our daily returns for every single day of this entire period. And now we're going to want to calculate the up rates and the down rates for both the benchmark and the portfolio. I'm defining the up rates as the rates on the days when the benchmark return, so the SBY's return, is positive. So this, 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 these would all be considered up rates. And same for AGTAHX, whenever the benchmark's return is positive. And then down rates will be days whenever the benchmark's return is negative. So these would all be down rates as an example. An interesting case would be when the benchmark is down, but the uh, the portfolio AGTHX is up, this would still cons be considered a down rate for the portfolio. So let's just go ahead and write a formula that's going to do that for us. So we'll say equal to if this cell here, and I'm gonna hit F4 three times to lock in column F. If this is greater than or equal to zero, let's return this value. If not, we're going to return quote space quote. So you'll see later on why I'm putting a space in there. So let's hit enter and we can drag this formula to the right. So now right here, this should give us the uh, up rate. So it'll return the price for AGTHX only if the SPY has a greater than or equal to zero return for that day. And then now we can do the same thing for the down rates. So I'll just copy this formula here and then paste it right here with the, the text the same. And now instead of it being greater than or equal to zero, we'll just change it to less than zero. So we're only going to return days uh, where, the, or where the return is less than zero. And then we can just drag this to the right to paste the formula over. And so now if this is less than zero, we will return that return for AGTHX. So that's the down rates portfolio returns. And I'll just drag this a few rows to show you an example. So you can see that whenever uh, an up rate is returned for the benchmark, the same will happen for a portfolio and then vice versa for the down rates. Now I'm just going to copy all four of these cells so we can get all the formulas. Hit control down arrow to go to the bottom, right arrow over, hold shift, select all four columns and then hold, hit control shift up arrow and then control V to paste. So now we have all of our down rates and all of our up rates for the entire five year 
sample period. Now that we've got all the rates we need, I'm gonna copy this entire table by clicking into the top left cell and then holding control and shift and hitting right arrow and then down arrow to uh, highlight the whole table. Then I'm gonna hit control C to copy. I'm gonna jump over to this up capture and down capture sheet over here and I'm going to right click and then paste just the values. So now we've got all of our up rates and our down rates, and then I'm gonna hit Control F, and I wanna get rid of all those spaces because we don't want all these blank cells as they'll interfere with our analysis. So now we'll hit Replace, and then Find What. All I'm going to do is just hit the space bar one single time. Now we've got a space in there, and now we're gonna replace it with nothing, so I'll hit Replace All. So we have replaced all the spaces with blanks. And so now these are all blank cells. And then I'm gonna go up to here and go to find and select, go to special, and then I'm gonna click blanks. So we're gonna highlight all of the blank cells. So we've highlighted every blank cell in this range. I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna hit delete, and I'm gonna shift cells up. So now we will have all of the rates we need and no blanks. So we'll see we have the exact same number of up rates um, for both the portfolio and the benchmark and the same thing over here for the down rates. And now we've got all the data we need to calculate up capture ratio and down capture ratio. Let's go ahead and calculate our up capture ratio and then our down capture ratio. So we can calculate up capture ratio using this formula here that says up capture ratio is equal to the portfolio's return during the up market divided by the benchmark's return during the up market multiplied by 100. So let's start off calculating the portfolio's return during the up market, which is gonna be equal to product one plus, and now we're going to grab the whole array of portfolio returns during the up market, which is going to be control shift down arrow is how we select all that. Um, close the parenthesis and then subtract one. And now I'm going to hit control shift enter to make this an array formula. You can see with these squiggly brackets that it's an array formula. And so we can see that the portfolio returned 52,397% uh, during the up market. You might be wondering about this product one plus and then the range of uh, rates data, how that works. And it's basically just taking one plus this multiplied by one plus this, multiplied by one plus this, multiplied by one plus this. So we're just compounding interest daily for all of these rates. Then we're gonna do the same thing for the benchmarks return during the up, mark, up market, which is gonna be equal to the product. One plus, grab this whole range with control shift down arrow, close it, minus one, and then control shift enter to cre create an array formula. And then now we can see that if we calculate our up capture ratio, it's going to be equal to the portfolio's return during the up market divided by the benchmark's return during the up market multiplied by 100. And we'll see that the uh, AGTHX mutual fund actually performed pretty well during up markets. So we can see that a, a up capture ratio of greater than 100% means the portfolio generally outperformed the benchmark during the up markets and the higher above 100 is going to be better. So this, this portfolio did really well during up markets. Now let's calculate the down capture ratio, which is very similar to the up capture ratio, but now we're gonna be using the portfolio's return during down markets divided by the benchmark return during down markets multiplied by 100. So let's start with the portfolio's returns and it's gonna be equal to product one plus those portfolio returns in the down market. So control shift down arrow then close minus one, control shift enter. And then we're going to have to do the same calculation for the benchmark to turn during the down market, which is gonna be equal to product one plus, grab the whole array with control shift down arrow, and then minus one and then control shift enter. And now we're just going to take the uh, portfolio's return <clears throat> during the down market divided by the benchmark to turn during the down market and multiply Y 100 and we'll see that the down capture ratio is greater than 100. And that implies that um, the portfolio generally performed worse than the benchmark during down markets. It captured more downside. So up capture, it's better to be higher. Down capture, it's better to be lower. Another thing to take note of with the down capture ratio is that if the portfolio generally tracks the benchmark well, which means that when the benchmark has negative days, 
the portfolio also has negative days and you have a lot of daily observations, you will generally end up with a down capture ratio that is close to 100 just because these returns become so negative. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit like and subscribe. And if you are in need of any custom financial modeling services, you can check me out on my website and reach out to me there. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching the video and have a great day.